Now that we understand IDF functions, we want to be able to interpret information from the curves. Let's consider a fixed duration d on the x-axis. This is the fixed duration d on the x-axis. As return period increases from two year all the way to 50 year, as you can see over here, intensity of rainfall also increases. Now, this is one case. Let's talk about another scenario. Let's consider a fixed intensity I over here. Again, as return period increases from two year to 50 year, you can see that duration of rainfall also increases on the x-axis as well. And eventually, for a fixed return period, as the duration of rainfall increases, the intensity of rainfall decreases as well. So I'm going to select one of these return periods. I'm going to select, for example, this curve, the 50-year curve. You can see as duration of rainfall increases, intensity of rainfall decreases. This matches your instinctive understanding that long rainfall events are not very intense. But how to access these IDF curves? In the United States, a useful website is Precipitation Frequency Data Server, or PFDS, PFDS, which gives you access to rainfall statistics, including IDF data points for major cities in the US.